Hey, what it do, baby? We're here in Florence, Italy. Me and Jello just did some serious work on this Florentine steak and buffalo rigatoni. I got a little bit. Finally, after four years, we finally get to have some trapezino. I'm making a mess right now, but I'm just so hungry. Alright JKJners, we just made it to the train station without any hitches. We took the water bus. It was only about a 15 minute ride over to the train station and then we ended up going to a bistro because there's seven of us. And when you're traveling with your family and there's seven people and there's bags, you don't want to get to the train station on time. So we came to this bistro, grabbed some coffee, some cappuccinos, some sandwiches and some pizzas. And just hung out on the corner. Nice air conditioning and we're not stressed out. How's that cappuccino? My second one. Two cappuccinos, yeah, I've already had two today also. Very good. So that's the stop we got off of right there, and we're right at the bistro. So this is a Nutella sandwich I got from right here. Honestly, I feel like I can make a better one. It's still, it's still really good though. What did you get, mom? There's ham, arugula, cheese, and there's emmental, and there's ham, and there's arugula. Yeah, Did they got a donut and fruit? <laughs> American. Sugar donut. It's Shambella and Macedonia. Yeah. Mari got a Sammy. Hey, mom. And I got this beer right here. It's five euro, but it was good. We got some of that pizza, huh? Oh, you know the, the Arizona here. Just waiting for a train ride, another hour or so. Alright guys, we made it onto the train. Uh, they showed us the platform with like 15 minutes to spare. Me, Jello, and my dad had to put all the bags up for the family. Now we're all just chilling, hanging out. No air conditioning yet, but just a, over a two hour train ride to Firenze. There's a guy. That's good. That's all she does, man. Love you, DJ. Jaycation. to get off. I uh, got some editing done. Nice, relax, smooth ride from Venice to Florence. Hey, what it do, baby? We're here in Florence, Italy. What's up, Jaycationers? With the fam, five of us. Mom and Tita Evie are back in the apartment. We're just going to the market. We just got here to Firenze. And look, there's on guard right there, on guard. Oh, really? We're going to the market. We got to pick up some stuff. Alright guys, so we went over to this place called Livio. Pizza from Napoli. We got two margaritas, cotto e fungi, and another pizza. Bon appetit. Yeah, this was only like 35, 40 bucks. So it's cheap. And quick. So the tomato sauce on this pizza is really good. It's a wood-fired pizza place. I got a little bit of B-roll on my phone. I didn't bring my camera with me, but check it out. Really I good beers, pizza from Napoli, but here in Florence. I'm gonna get the Le Inferno spicy sauce. Le Inferno? Yes. We're here at Al Antico Vinayo, famous sandwiches. Uh, this is like a Tuscan pork with a spicy sauce with uh, rucola, got the house wine too. And it's all in the bread too, the bread is fantastic. Looks amazing to be honest. I haven't really had a sandwich like this before, but we're gonna see how it is. It's fire, I feel literally, cause it's spicy. <laughs> Another great thing about this place is that you get the house wine for two euro, self-serve and everybody eats right outside on the streets. This guy. Having the time of my life right now. So as you guys can see, there's a line in the sun side and a line in the shade side. 
they're both the same place. They're just across the street from each other, but they're both popping lines. I'd rather be in the shade. Some people want some sun, so. So as we were eating the sandwich, it was all right, you know. But towards the end is when you really be tasting it. Like, it really be kicking in. The spiciness. The spiciness really be kicking in. It's super good. 10 out of 10. It's Bob Euro. Caramel, no joke. You guys heard this on the vlog before, the salted caramel at Gelateria Dineri, the salted caramel is the best in the world, hands down. And I get it with the pistachio. Ah, oh, this is not the, the first and last time coming here on this trip. We're coming back every day. So that was Gelateria di Neri, hands down my favorite gelato in all of Florence. It was nice. It was nice. What's up, JK Shaders? We're here in our Airbnb in Florence. It's been a fun-filled day walking around the city of Florence. Perfect walking city here in Europe, but the Tuscan sun in mid-August is too hot, so me and Joel have been hanging out. But tonight we're gonna head over to Trattoria 13 Gabi and get some Florentine steak and my favorite buffalo mozzarella. Head over to Trattoria 13 Gabi with the family. They're back from Pisa. If you notice, they weren't with us today. They went over to Pisa to hang out. Me and Jolla just stayed in the city and just chilled. Another great thing I love about Florence is that it's well lit. So at night, everyone can walk around the city feeling a little safer at least with the lights being lit up. And we're just right down the street from the restaurant we're eating at, so. Easy walk. Finally back at my favorite restaurant in Florence, Tattoria di 13 Gobi. I'm gonna have the Florentine steak and the buffalo mozzarella. So excited. Tell me why this water is so bougie though. Like, it's crazy. Good water. Crazy, it must be. So Jello and I are sharing the uh, one pound steak. Madi and Mama are also sharing it. Salt and pepper. I'm gonna see what all the hype's about. Hold on. They're hyping this up. Yeah, <laughs> that's what all the talk's about. It lives up. It lives up to the name. Me and Jello just did some serious work on this Florentine steak and buffalo rigatoni. A little bit. I got a little bit. <laughs> So I'm having a little digestive called the Montenegro. Salud. So that was uh, Trattoria de 13 Gabi. Fantastic Florentine Amazing. steak. We got some rigatoni, buffalo rigatoni, and some of that house wine. Well, I had the house wine, not this kid. I had the water. The water yeah, was good. The water was money. <laughs> Napoli. Pizza. Very good pizza. Alright guys, we just made it over to the Mercat Centrale. You walk through all the merchants with leather belts and shirts and more leather and more belts. And then you head over to the central market here where they have a lot of food stands. So all the times 
I've been to Florence, this place has been closed. So this is the first, the JK should first, being inside the Mercato Centrale. Hey guys, I ran into Nico. He's a Jaycationer from LA. Yes, What's up, dude? nice to meet you. I watch all your vids, a lot of great suggestions. Thank you so much. Hey man, I uh, appreciate all the support, man, and I hope uh, it helps you on your trip here through uh, Italy, dude. Thank you. Hey, Mari. Yo. What did you just find? Porchetta? Porchetta and Porchetta over there, and Trapezino over there. So. You have your choice. Yeah, we were originally gonna go to Trapezino in Rome, but now that they have it here in Florence, there's no reason to do the one in Rome now because it's so far and it was so out of the way. But here, it's in the Mercato Centrale. So, Trapezino, here we come. I'm gonna get the uh, polenta sandwich. Hi, viewers. We're here at Mercato Centrale and we're going to pick our food for dinner tonight. Uh, I'm going to take porchetta. And the potatoes. Baby. Finally, after four years, we finally get to have some trapezino. I got the meatballs and then the uh, chicken parm. Uh, and the eggplant parm. Uh, I can't wait to have it. They're in different cities now. They're not, they're not only just here in Florence, but they're in Turin. I think she said Milan in another spot. And Mari's got the chicken. Mommy, you got the violi Ravioli. Ravioli Translation Chinese ravioli. Chinese ravioli. <laughs> With soup. Before I start chowing down, I got the summer beer over at the bar here in the middle of Mercato Centrale. Mari got the Chianti Classico right here. And uh, we also got the Trapezino meatball. Look, like it's like a red beer. Nice and light. I dig it. Mari, how's the Trapezino? Very good. The chicken is my favorite. Really good. I've been craving chicken lately. So it definitely satisfied my craving. I might get more. I really like it. I'm having the eggplant parmesan. The sauce in this is so good and the bread. Ah, I'm making a mess right now, but I'm just so hungry. Bellissimo. Four years in the making. Alright guys, so that was Mercato Centrale here in Florence. It's got a lot to offer. It adds another dimension to the food experience here in Florence. So definitely come and check it out. It's really near the train station and pretty damn centrale. <laughs> it's one in the afternoon here on our third day in Florence. I was gonna go to uh, Cinque Terre, but been there, done that. Didn't want to spend all that money to go there. So just, you know, some days you gotta just hang out and enjoy recharge. the city you're here. You gotta recharge. Recharge and relax. We're going to get a porchetta sandwich right now.
So I just had the lamb riadotto for the first time. It was okay, it was good, uh, but I kind of preferred the porchetta. He made it spicy. Filipino guy. Shout Richard. out. Richard, the Filipino. Dick Kababayan. What the? This guy. This guy. <laughs> So we had a little taste of bivoli. I saw that on that I'll have with Phil's eating show. Yeah. I still got denari. This one, I think I ordered the wrong thing. It was like pera di caramello. Even the coffee is not. Yeah, they don't serve cones. They don't serve it in cones, they serve it in cups here too. They want you to just taste the gelato straight up. Alright, so we're back at Al Antico Vineo, take two. I had to take my dad here, I had to take my mom and aunt. Got the house wine for two euro once again. Uh, Madi got the spicy one the, with the porchetta. And we got this uh, straccia something di Manolo. And it's really good, it tastes like mushroom with really good Italian meat. Happy, happy. Oh, hi, I'm the one who's the That's spicy. This is porchetta. Look how big it is. Masarap ba, tita? Dito kayo bumili? Super, muy delicioso. So, a thing I noticed is that, especially with crowds of people being at Al Antico Vinayo, they say that you can't eat in other storefronts, so you have to eat within the realm or within the street of it, or they'll like, they all come up to you all mad, or like, oh, you can't stand here, and they kick you off the other sides of the streets. So make sure you're eating it within the vicinity of the restaurant. Back, baby. <laughs> that's heaven, that's why I keep coming back here to Florence, Italy. Just because of that salted caramel gelateria denari gelato. Mari's not gonna like this. Mari, uh, I need to vlog this, so here's your here's your wine. Okay? That's not the wine that you bought. Why not? It's a Chardonnay. Here in Florence, after 9 p.m., you can't sell alcohol. Uh, it's 9.56 when I went to buy alcohol. So, uh, I went to this Pocky store, right? And he said, what's your best Chardonnay? This is his best Chardonnay. 10 euro. Instead of the 5 for your, uh, this one. All right. So, so I had this in my hands at, uh, at PAM, but it was 9.56. They don't sell alcohol, and there's signs all over. Okay. So you just pay double for that, for that Chardonnay. So if you guys are traveling to Florence, just know they won't sell you alcohol at liquor stores past 9 o'clock. You can go to bars, you can go to restaurants. So buy your alcohol before 9. That's stupid, because it's still alcohol when you, drink, when you buy it from the bar. Enjoy that Chardonnay, Marty. Well, let's go drink it. <laughs> let's go finish. Let's go finish. Right? This guy. Cheers. 10 euro, double the price. Go. It's still okay. Can you like this one? Yeah. But I'm much out of rules, dude. In Marty's words, too much no, booze. What's up, JK Shitters? Good morning. We're here in Florence. It's our final day. We're headed to. Roma today. Me and Mari have been going to the same cafe around our Airbnb, around the corner from our Airbnb the last four days. So we're gonna finish it off here with a morning cappuccino con chocolate. What's up Jaycationer? So it's our last couple hours here in Firenze in Florence. I went to this place called Der uh, Nerbone at the uh, Centrale Market and they have this uh, porchetta panini. Look at that porchetta right there. That's some good stuff right there. You know, I love porchetta, but what I love more, that hot sauce on that bag, swag. So I got this to carry around the rest of the trip. Tabasco. So we're just gonna open this up. Got that hot sauce now. It's ready to go. Mmm. Yep. That's what's up. This is great porchetta. The way I saw the guy make this is very simple. You just cut up the porchetta and then he had some sort of sauce. 
that he dipped the top layer of the bread in, and then you just put it together. And then I just added the Tabasco, because I'm all about Tabasco. So I got that porchetta panini from Da Nerbone. It's on the bottom floor in the older part, or Mercato Centrale. It's four euros, and it was fantastic. It's a great midday snack, or a, a nice light lunch for you. Hey guys, if you uh, haven't subscribed to Jcation yet, hit that subscribe button. Please like this video, and if you have any comments or questions about Florence or anywhere else in the world, please let me know. All right, guys. Mm -hmm.